Well, at least two of my viewers, at least two, definitely one, possibly another one, has inquired about this a uh, 12 volt backup switching relay device. Allow me to bring you in for a closer look. So basically, oh, what you have here, oh, these wires are quite stiff. So basically, what you have here is these two wires are input from your 12 volt power supply, and these two wires come from a 12 volt battery. If you can see in the board, it says DC negative, DC positive, battery negative, battery positive. This runs out to your output, which goes to your heater, and this is a relay that switches. I'm not sure if it switches, it probably switches the positives. But just now, uh, it's connected to power supply, which is on. So to show that it's on uh, the power supply, we'll go over the, can you even see the mirror display in the video? Can you? Can you? Can you? Right, so from the power supply, there is 2.3 volts. You see 2.3, barely. And from the freshly charged battery, there is, trying to touch the leads together, 12 point, no, 12.9 ish volts. So we've got 12.9. And output at the moment from the power supply is the 12.3 volts. Power supply in, power supply out. So the purpose of this device would be if you are doing it as this, you are running your diesel heater in a workshop that perhaps suffers from power outages and you didn't want to murder your heater. So you have it connected to your. 12 volt power supply, as normal for running, heating your workshop up, lovely. And you also have a battery here, just in case the power were to go out. So when the power goes out, it switches over to battery, and you can either shut it down manually, or if you've seen the other video, and you've already put the 12 volt module in on the fuel pump, which would cut the fuel pump, if the main power, so you wouldn't attach it to the power going into here, you would attach it to the power supply coming from the, uh, you know, 240, 120 to 12 volt uh, power adapter. You would take that 12 volt supply and put that into your controller for your fuel pump. So when that stopped, this will keep going on the battery, but the fuel pump will have stopped and it will automatically shut down. But but you don't have to do that, obviously. If you're here in your workshop and it goes dark, then you'll not go over your heater and shut it down. But I do want to test that this little module will actually take the 10 amps starting to start the whole heater up and shut it down again. So I'm going to run that now. I'm going to put the camera on thing in case it bursts into flames, but we're going to test that just now. Fire in the hole! Right, let's see if this bad boy bursts into flames. Okay. Contact. The diesel heater is activated. Thought I would just fish out the old DC clamp mirror. So on the battery just now is nothing. And to the heater is currently eight amps. And from the power supply, which I can't reach, is now I've clamped half a cable. That's not going to work. Eight amps. So just now, not that you can see it, is running off the power supply. So it's held up to ten um, eight amps. It's taking the full eight amps at the moment. And, uh, the relay is. It's a little warm. It's not. It's not hot. Success! The heater is lit and it hasn't burst into flames. Right, the heater is running. Hopefully you can see on the afterburner where it says running. And what I'm going to do now is, uh, can you see behind the heater? The sockets on the wall, perhaps you can't see them very well. But behind the heater, where I'm going is the uh, plug for the power supply. I'm now going to turn it off. Okay, so that doesn't work. 
Well, no, it will. It does work. Wait, that was... But does it only work with the afterburner, though? So what happened there was, I turned the power off. There was a brief drop in power. I want to say perhaps one to two seconds of which the whole uh, heater stopped working. Uh, you probably saw on display that it went off, restarted, and is now going into the cooling um, part of the sequence is the word I'm looking for. So the moment it's just, it stopped, and it's blowing air to cool down the burn chamber. So, so it's not great, and it's not terrible. So basically what it did there instead was, I kind of expected it just to switch over to battery power, but it didn't. It disconnected from the power supply, waited a second or two, and then connected the battery. But in that time, the heater saw the drop of power, turned off, and it's now started back up in just a pure uh, cooldown cycle. But I now need to test if that's purely because we're on an afterburner or if it'll do it on a normal controller as well. So I'm going to go and unplug the afterburner, plug a normal controller in, and do all this again. I've taken the heater off of the... No, I've taken the cover off of the heater because it's easier to get into the plug for the other controller. So we now have... The other controller is in, it's running, it's gone down on its low, we're running on the power supply. I'm now going to do the same thing again, and uh, we're going to hopefully see this time on this controller what happens when we switch over to battery power. Ready? Three, two, one. And it does the same thing, okay? So, browns out, power drops here just stops fueling basically and is now running a, a cooldown cycle because it's still red hot as you can see on display if it was in shot still hot it's now running a cooldown cycle so the little uh, thing in here controller i'm going to call a controller it kind of does what it's supposed to do it just doesn't switch instantly Right, is this doing a 10 amp uh, kind of cool down thing here? Let's see, is it? No, it is not. It is just doing running the fan. Okay, right, right. That makes sense, right. So the fan is just basically just blowing the fan to cool the, cool the burn chamber down. What does this mean? It means it doesn't go into a proper turn the glow plug on burn off the diesel, flame out the chamber, and finish the sequence, it just goes off. Stops pumping fuel, and then blows out the chamber. Is it great? No. Is it better than your heater just turning off dead and still being roasting hot and cooking the circuits? Yes, it's great for that. I suppose it's an emergency cut off. It's not like you're using it to shut the heater down. So, and with respect to that, it does the thing where, well, it's switched over battery power, turned off, and is now cooling the heater down. So, worst case scenario, maybe your glow plug in your screen's gonna get filled up eventually. See if this happened a lot. But for emergency use, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good uh, thing. You will have to remember though to keep the battery charged because it's not connected to anything. It's just being a battery by itself. So you still need a battery charger to maintain your emergency battery. But yeah, so it works with the normal controller. It works with the afterburner. It doesn't do a proper shutdown. It just kind of powers off and then cools down. It's, it is doing it. It's running. It's cooled in. It is bringing the... Right, can you see on the... Can you see on the display, it is now gone down to a yellow, so it'll go all the way down to, I think it goes down until it's green, and then I'll let you start it back up again. But, that's that. Uh, thank you to the two commenters uh, who asked, inquired about this 12 volt uh, backup switching relay. I'll put the link in the description if anyone is interested in purchasing it. But, 
yeah, yeah, it does the thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.